Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Civilization VI, as we play our game here as Gandhi on Deity Difficulty, going for a religious victory, at least currently going for a religious victory. <laughs> we may change our minds as the game progresses, we'll find out. Uh, we've only got one city, although we do need to get another one out here soon. We're already up to five pop, and by the time we get even started on our settler, we'll be at six pop, so... Uh, I mean, it's not a big deal, because we know that Gandhi's cities are going to grow a little bit taller normally but uh, this one definitely growing taller than, than even usual so we'll get another settler out here soon uh we got a couple places down here we can settle honestly quite a few places over here as well we can basically surround brussels in good settlements we haven't found any other civilizations they've got to be down this way obviously i mean there's not going to be up here i don't think they'd be on another landmass because this is supposed to be pangea but we'll find out and we are playing on an epic game speed so things are a little bit tiny bit slower you know not too bad but uh I figured I'd slow it down a little bit because just like military stuff, that does help with, um, it does help with the movement of the religious units. All right, we do have a Pantheon finally. Apparently all the barbarian things are gone. All right, well then that's fine. Let's bring you back home, get you healed up a tick, and then we'll move you out to the, probably this thing. Pantheon, what do we want? I mean, we could keep going tall. I mean, that's always an option. Uh, the river goddess is also an option because we did intentionally put our holy site next to a river just so we could keep that as an option. Obviously, more housing is always good for a city that's growing tall as our amenities. Um, yeah, that's definitely good. Uh, we could have put, I guess, our holy site district in the desert, come to think of it. Um, kind of forget about desert fort local folklore sometimes i mean yeah we could get a pretty good benefit from that get a decent chunk of faith you know i mean i don't think i'm going to be putting a city too far over here to benefit from this unless i just put one over there literally just to have a holy site and that's basically it um one down here could have a little bit of holy site adjacency potentially i mean the one we've got now would only have one faith because we've only got one desert tile next to it Marsh oasis and desert floodplains. We do have some desert floodplains. Getting more production from these desert floodplains. Uh, all, was it three of them? Four of them? I mean, does, does, would, it, would it boost this one too? I actually don't know that one. But it would give us, is this one desert? Yeah, this is one, two, three, four. At least four. And then there's some over here. Oh, that's plains, floodplains. Never mind. Well, I mean, our first city here would have some production, which is not a bad idea. I do, I do like the idea in general, um, except for the fact that it only helps the first city. Like none of the other cities would have any benefit from that. So it would be some good early production in a city that probably is going to struggle for production pretty much the entire game. I mean, this whole, this game is about snowballing, right? So getting your first city really rolling is what's going to help all the other cities just get better, right? Um, it's a tempting idea. Very tempting idea. I mean, production's not massive for uh, a religious, you know, type of city or religious type of game, but you still need production. I mean, it's, it's still part of the game. I'm very tempted to take that just to help this first city. Nothing else would benefit at all. <laughs> Literally none other city would benefit, but it's very possible that this city could have one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, not 10. So 10 more production if this one counted as well, which I don't know for sure if it does, but at least eight production. That's, that's a lot of production. Early on, I guess is my point. What else we got? Uh, geothermal, volcanic. We're probably not going to worry about that. Towels with breathtaking, don't care about that. Uh, production towards districts, yeah. Get a free builder. Yeah, I mean, and, and city growth rate, obviously, that's that's a good one for sure. Don't get me wrong. It's even got this, it's got, got a similar or the same flower as what we got over here. Um, I'm really tempted to give us this first city a boost. A lot of our other cities are going to be fine. I, 
I, this is this is tough, guys. This is really tough. I definitely see the benefit of going River Goddess. Because that will help just about all our cities, right? We are going to get a lot of housing from our Stepwells, though. So I don't think housing will actually be a problem. You know, we're going to go for it. Mostly because I almost never get to use this one. <laughs> we're in a unique situation where it will benefit us right this moment. Uh, it could end up just being a silly one to have, but I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. Again, Delhi has... If Delhi had some good production, I would not worry about it. But it just has no real good ways to get production. It's got a little bit of production here. Tiny bit on some of the planes, and that's it. Like, it has nothing. And we at least need our capital to have at least some production, I think. Okay, it did give it to the... the okay. In that, that case, I'm definitely glad I did it because I was going to say, if it gives it to the city center, then I think it is, is actually worth it because we will get quite a bit of more desert floodplains over here. So no, this this is... I mean, look at these two tiles right now. <laughs> these are some really good tiles right this second. That's going to help us get that snowball going, like I said. Uh, and really, the snowball is more powerful than, I think, the uh, long-term benefits of, of even having the holy sites next to rivers. All right. You are still waiting to become a, an archer, so we're just going to alert you for now. Let's see, I think there's got to be another barbarian camp up here, and there is. Getting like no culture right now. Um, let's just take the kill here. And move you on without taking any damage. Cool. Military tradition. Nice stuff. Get a little bit of a boost there. How are we looking on era? Where oh I, has this always been down here? And I'm just really dumb. <laughs> we're at 14 of 27. Um threshold to avoid a dark age is 12, so we're already at that. We would need 13 more to avoid a golden age. Or to get a golden age, I should say. And we have how many turns? Mm, it doesn't say the turns here, does it? Unless I'm blind. I mean, I think that's what this is, right? This this little icon. If this, does this count down 10 turns? Is that what that's telling me? No. So I don't know. I don't know what. I wish this would tell us the number of turns as well. Because then I would never have to look, click that thing up there. I mean, I think it's rel I think that does represent that, though. Oh, no, that's not what that represents. That's That represents our dark and normal golden age, I bet. I bet that's what that, that circle represents. I'll be honest, I've never really looked at it. So, I always go to the little arrow score thing up there in the top. All right, let's just get everybody back home. I don't. There's not really much else for us to do right this second. I'm still kind of holding off until we become um, suzerain with uh, candy. About to get us some... Uh, Great profit points. We're already getting some, I suppose, but we're hopefully getting some more, right? We do still definitely need a great profit. Or else this whole thing is kind of pointless. I'm going to put you in Delhi. You guys just come down here. Be ready to help defend us in case somebody gets crazy. Great Bath is actually really good. Really good. Could get us a lot of faith. I think the Great Breath is worth it. Now, it does have to be built on floodplains, which is a little unfortunate, but I think this floodplains is better than any of these other ones because these other ones are going to be getting a boost. So, right, it does have to be built on floodplains. I'm not wrong about that. Yeah. I, I think we go for it. It's a crazy idea, but I think we go for it. I'm actually going to move you over to production. Um, I mean, I know that delays our settler more. But the fact that Delhi is still growing makes me feel a little bit better about that. I mean, it's about to run out of growth potential here soon. Maybe I should go for a settler. But if we can get this, I think this does also snowball quite nicely for us in this particular city. I don't know. Maybe I make maybe maybe it's the wrong decision there. I, early wonders in a deity game are always gambles, right? So. 
Do I wait for a better unit? Probably. Probably like bring you close by and then we'll kind of just play it by ear from there. We do have enough to get you promoted. I don't think we desperately need to get you promoted right now. So I think we'll hold off and save that money for something else. There's Stonehenge. Definitely see an argument for this being a very bad idea. Oh, you know what? I did not. Oh, I did pitch on production. Good, good, good. Just making sure. I mean, buying out to another tile might not be a bad idea because that would give me a couple more points of production. So obviously would be a good time to be uh, friends with Brussels, but... We don't have the uh, the uh, envoys for that. I mean, twelve turns is it's a lot of turns, but also not it's not gonna be that bad. I really should have got another city out. I know. <laughs> I'm going to come to regret it. I, I do it will come to regret it. <laughs> but maybe not. It's a risk. Thousands have lived without love. Got our step wells now. We also have a new target. We'll just send the two units. That should be enough. We can already go for the Varu, which would allow us to go ahead and grab that thing and pick up the Varu right away, which is an interesting idea. I think we'll pick up mining. Interesting tactic, sir. Oh, we didn't kill him. More error score, 17 of 27. Um, what do we need? We need like 300 gold for Settler. 480. 480. Hmm. Must be better to get a granary. Just keep growing a bit more. To get our first governor. Economy begins with a strong, well educated workforce. It's a little late for this particular uh, policy. We only got three turns left on this anyway. Um, what it's not too late for is putting a little bit of production in here, I guess. Yeah, well, we're just going for the gold, but I think the production's fine. It'll help us get the settler out here in a moment. Only plus one gold here. I think we'll leave discipline in for just a little bit longer. Pretty soon we should be able to move off of that too, though. All right, getting the production towards settlers would be quite nice. All right, I don't think we wait for candy. I think we've got to go see if we can find us another continent. I mean, Moksha, and we're going to want Moksha at some point, right? It's just because there's a bunch of early faith. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of other people that are great as well. Maybe we save Moksha for a little bit later. I don't know the pink. I think, I mean, we go Liang. 
don't know that we're going to be removing a lot of features because there's not a lot of features to remove right now. Now, surplus logistics is pretty good. It's going to give me plus two faith right now, though. You know, let's go Moksha. I think there's arguments for the other ones being better, but I'm just kind of doubling down on the religion game. To the United so United States. You are oh, and there's someone else right there. Is that potentially uh Caesar? I think the purplish color is a lot of times Caesar. I mean United States is pretty far away. I mean we're not gonna have to worry about him quite yet. I mean I would like to be friends with you. Who deserves more wow. credit than the encampment the right there. Well, I mean, our archer is coming back. You can swing over and you can come start doing some attacks. Well, hello there, Theodora. Uh, she's going to be religion competition, isn't she? Let's see here. I mean, this is the new Theodora. I don't remember Theodora. Holy sites provide culture equal to their adjacency bonus. Farms provide a faith adjacency bonus to hippodromes and holy sites. Yeah, Byzantium is just good for religion. So yeah, she's probably going to be pushing some religion stuff. She might be one of our biggest competitions. All right, let's see if we can find some iron. Now that we're actually finding people, probably a good idea for us to see if there are um, if there's anything iron related here that will help us out. Um, start doing some trades. I mean, I don't really care about my horses. But unless we've become friends with these guys, I don't want to give them horses either just yet. We're saying no for now, buddy. Ah, so you're already going to be unfriendly with it's me. in this captious and intenable sieve, I still pour in the waters of my love. And like not to lose still, thus Indian like, religious in mine error, I adore the sun that looks upon his worshipper, but knows of him no more. I mean, we got it, so it's gonna be I think it's gonna be good for us overall. Whether the delay was worth it or not. You know, that's a that's a I can see an argument either way. But we can go for the uh, settler now, which we we definitely will. I mean, don't get me wrong, hanging gardens is also incredibly tempting. Uh, if we go for the settler, uh, wait a minute. Yeah, I really need to get early empire to help us. With... I mean, I could go for other things, continue to build up infrastructure, and go for the settlers once I put early empires that that civic bonus in here, and just pump out a bunch of settlers at that point, like back to back to back. That's also not a terrible idea. Honestly, on that note, the Hanging Gardens would become relatively useful. Needs to be where? Just needs to be built next to a river. It can be built up here. I'd rather avoid the floodplains. You know, we're going to double down on some, some early... We're going to make... We're going to make Delhi an awesome city. And if it blows up in our faces, well, you know what? This this game will be over fast. <laughs> you know? um, we are four points away from that. Oh, one turn. Okay, well, we're not going to get that. So. That's all right. Kind of snuck up on us. All right, one of you guys, doesn't matter who, just attack that, take that out. I mean, we could have used that three error score a second ago, but oh well. I mean, I usually go for free inquiry. I and mean, we don't, we're not gonna have a religion soon enough to make him take advantage of this, I don't think. I mean, special districts, yeah, let's just go for free inquiry. None of those are gonna be worth that much to us at the end of the day, to be honest, so. We'll get what we can.
So I found a second continent. Uh, do we know about one, though? Sometimes we might know about one without actually having found it yet. No. I mean, it's unlikely we're going to find one, like, super fast. I probably have to go pretty deep down here to be able to find one. So yeah, let me just cut back through here, I guess. And it's possible we don't find one at all. I mean, they, they could make this whole one landmass, one continent. Hello, barbarians. Kind of surprised to see you here. Ah, Laventa. We can get the Colossal Head Improvements. Nice. Some more faith, potentially. Still don't know anything about continents. Do I move off foreign trade? I mean, the chances of finding us one at all are pretty slim. If we find one within the next seven turns, then cool. We save a few turns. But if we don't, then I'm going to be glad that we just went ahead and pushed through that. I'm also interested in creating a lasting... If we can even get through here. Burning encampment way up there. Probably mostly ignore that one, but I mean, we might as well send a force up there. Not happy that these guys are unfriendly with me, but it is what it is. Could have hung around to see if I could have taken that from them, but. It's okay. Doesn't look like we're going to find another continent, but not the end of the world. It does, like I said, make it more beneficial that we went ahead and kept pushing through foreign trade. All right, that's too far away for us to worry about. St. Louis and Constantinople should be able to handle that one. Did find us another city-state. I mean, probably not one that's going to be super useful to us, but it's all good. I'm going to go ahead and just have you auto-explore at this point, my friend. Do your thing. Two turns. Come on, can we get this done? I don't think there's any policies we're going to change to now. Decent chunk of gold at the moment, but I'm like I said, I'm really going to wait for Early Empire to finish. I know it's a big, huge delay, but we can just pump out... A bunch of settlers at that point. High stories by stairs, and at their side are water engines, by means of which persons, appointed expressly for the purpose, are continually employed in raising water from the Euphrates into the garden. We're going to be able to grow pretty tall here. Writing means sharing. It's part of the human condition to want to share things, thoughts. I um. Okay, so that's good. Do we have iron anywhere? Yeah, we do actually have some iron down here. Let's start working on wheel. I don't know if we're going to be mining a resource anytime soon, though. We might pause that one after we get a little bit further along. If we knock out a government plaza, we can go ahead and get the building from the government plaza, which allows us to get builders from set, from settling cities, right? That actually might not be a bad combo to go with. 
probably going to put it over here because we put a step well there, I think. Actually, I don't remember if we can put it on the desert. If we can't, then we'll just put something else there. Not the end of the world. That production is helping us, though, right? Because we are, I mean, getting that knocked out in four turns on an epic game speed is pretty fast. Is our, is our uh, growth slowed again? No, we have plenty of plenty of housing. I mean, I could set you back to more of a neutral and still go for a little more food. Which might not be a bad idea. All right, that is done. Let's move you back, I guess, home. And for you. Sorry, I'm sorry, you're gonna hear the music go out for a second because I move over to my other computer. My thing was minimized. All right, cool. I couldn't see the timer for my recording. Um, all right, well, I think we're gonna put a cut in there. When we come back, we'll finish up our government plaza. Um, as soon as we get, uh, it's gonna have to be after early empire though, right? we don't get the buildings until actually when do we get the buildings is it part of the political philosophy stuff so we might have to wait on that uh as far as getting that set up i actually don't remember if we get the buildings now or not it doesn't show it there and i don't normally build the government plaza this early government plaza uh, we would want the uh, audience chamber. No. Ancestral Hall's military, isn't it? Oh, no, that's it. Never mind. That is it. Uh, it comes online with... What well, doesn't say? So maybe we can go ahead and build this. Then cool. Then that would make it worth it. All right. Like I said, we're going to put a cut in there. When we get back, we'll finish that up. And then we'll start pumping out a few settlers. Here very, very soon. Hopefully it's not too late. I don't think it is. We'll find out. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.